for your private customer paid summit conference workshop or masterclass where you want to live stream instead of using conferencing platforms, it can be difficult to control YouTube or Facebook groups and other social media destinations. A new feature from Restream allows you to embed your live stream into your website, creating one place for viewers to attend. Then you can take advantage of website features like password protecting that page and only sending that password to paid attendees. Learn how it all works in this video. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, I show you the nuts and bolts of live streaming for the DIY streamer. And today we're looking at how to stream directly to your website without YouTube or Facebook. Can't tell you how many times I've been in a discovery call where this scenario was needed and we didn't have a simple solution. The bonus at the end of this video is that we don't have to use Restream Studio to take advantage of this feature. Excited to get into the details, so let's do that right now. So here we are on Restream uh, looking at the dashboard. So you would have already had to log into your Restream account uh, to be able to see this same page. So do that so you can follow along with me. Uh, what I wanna show you is the feature itself. And in order to show you this new feature, we will have to set up an event. So let's go here to set up an event on the side. We have the ability to go to events. So let's go to events real quick. And you'll see I have one test already set up. I'm gonna create another one just so you can follow along. I'm gonna select the encoder RTMP option here. We'll select that and then I'm just gonna call this testing restream embed. And um, we will just use that same, that same description, same title in the description. And we are, uh, let's, let's select a, a picture. Why not? Because why not? Right. We'll just, we'll just select that one and we will keep it at uh, 1045. That's fine. We'll just keep the date and time. But if you were setting this up for your, your program or for your conference, your summit workshop, whatever, you would set this date and time correctly. You would set the thumbnail correctly. So we'd set these up this way, put your description in there, put your title in there, click next. Of course, it's got all of these destinations. We're going to click off on all of them. And this is actually one of the key things that has changed is that you can actually turn all of the destinations off and still be able to create the event. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to proceed without enabling any channels? You can say yes, and it creates the event. And it gives you the ability to send this to restream pairs. That's a whole nother video for another time, but we can say done here. And you can see we have testing restream embed. The, the, the secret sauce right here, right here is this feature, this function right here, right? We now have this option right on the side. These like greater than less than signs, which in the tech world means embed. It means the embed symbol, right? This is the embed symbol. So we can click on this embed symbol. We can grab the code here just by clicking copy code. I always recommend doing the responsive one. So I'm going to click copy code. And now we can take that code for this live stream, for this live event, and go over to our website. I use uh, WordPress for my site, for the How It All Works website. And here I am on one of those pages, already ready to edit the page. And I'm gonna simply go to the HTML code and paste that event code right into the website. And now you can see that that is on the website. I simply click update down here at the bottom and we can go over to the page itself, right? We're gonna actually show you what the, what the, where the option is to be able to set the password. So on this page is, uh, on this page, we are looking at the page from the, uh, the normal WordPress view. And we're gonna look in the publish section and for visibility, we want to select password protected. And for password protected, I can just say embed, right? This is our code. I'm going to say, okay, here, that's going to be the password, say update. Now that page has been updated and we can look at it on the website by simply going to a incognito tab. Let's pull up that page right now and hitting enter. And you can see that it's saying, this content is password protected. Please enter. You can click embed here, E-M-B-E-D. 
hit enter and it should let us into the page. Now we can see this embed code is here. This could be your event that you download the conference note sheet here. Some of the uh, some of the sponsors. This could be your event and this would you can already see how to use this for your uh, for your summit, for your workshop in all of the different ways you would simply go live. Just as a quick recap, uh, we are on the event page itself. This is what it would look like to your your attendees and viewers. But just as a quick recap, let's go back over to Restream. Here we are. And again, all I did was come here to the greater than less than sign, right? For those uh, techie, techie, you know that this is the embed uh, icon. We would simply click this, grab our embed code from here, copy that code, go over to your website and put that code in your website and your, in whatever way that works for you. And then save that page. The additional piece that we did is that we showed you how to then go through and edit, uh, make, making your page a password protected page by editing the visibility. And then once that's done, you can have your guests go directly to that page and it'll ask them for that password and they'll be able to view your event. The password protect piece is optional, but if you take some time and think about the use cases shared, this could really open some doors. Also, while I showed you the process on WordPress, it would be similar on whatever website backend you have. Now here's the fun part. As mentioned, you don't have to use Restream to take advantage of this feature. So on Restream, once the event is set up, you would simply go to the event created either on the events page or on your dashboard and where it says RTMP settings, click the down arrow on the right and then select switch to studio. Once you do that, RTMP settings will change to enter studio, which if you click it, it'll take you in the studio and you can follow your normal process to go live from there. For my stream yarders, you aren't left out. We would ensure the Restream event is set up the way we showed and click on the button that says RTMP settings, take the URL and stream key and add that destination in StreamYard. Then select that destination when creating your event slash studio and use your normal process to go live. <laughs> and lastly, for my Ecamm fam, it's literally the easiest. Keep the Restream event set up the way we showed, head over to Ecamm Live, select Restream from the destinations list, then select the event from the dropdown and go live like you would normally. Awesome option. Gotta love when features open up opportunities and scenarios like this. Wanna learn more about Restream features? Check out these videos right here.